Good morning guys and welcome to today's video. First and foremost, I am so sorry if the lighting is off in today's video. It is another very gray and gloomy day here where I live and every time we have a day where the lighting is going to be a little bit off, I feel the need to apologize because I still film on an iPhone. How many years into this am I? And I have never bought a camera still use an iphone it's just what is easy and accessible for me so i still film on my iphone and i feel like most of the time it's not too bad but on the days where the lighting is off my videos tend to be a little bit grainy so i'm really sorry if the lighting is off in today's video i hope you guys don't mind it too much i just went ahead and dropped the boys off at school for the day and i came home and i showered i was supposed to shower last night but i don't know about you guys, sometimes I get in these moods where I'm just too lazy to even get out of bed and shower. After I put the boys to bed last night, I was so comfy in bed that I figured I would hold off and shower once I got home from dropping the boys off at school, which is what I did today. And now I feel very rejuvenated, full of energy and ready to tackle today's to-do. And today's to-do is going to be cleaning out, where's mine, my closet. I went ahead and did this, I would think probably like a year ago now at this point. And over the last year, it's gotten increasingly chaotic and messy in there. And I also have realized a lot of the stuff that I wound up keeping last time I purged out my closet, I still am not grabbing for as frequently as I thought I would. So today's to-do is going to be clean out this closet. I'm going to show you guys what we're working with as of right now. Okay, so coming over to my closet, you can see that some clothes have spilled out of my closet. This is the stuff that I wear almost on like a weekly basis and it never leaves this spot. Today, I definitely wanna find a home for all of this stuff and get it off the floor, but my closet door is officially broken. I feel like I talked about this a while ago. I definitely need to get some like WD-40 or something and I never have, and so um, this door gets very stuck whenever I close it all the way and I have to use a butter knife and jam it into the little socket up there to open it. So it just stays open all the time, which wouldn't be an issue if my closet did not look like this. Also, this one completely jammed, can't open it, which completely sucks. I only have access through one of my doors. But as you can see, my closet has gotten increasingly chaotic and messy. The floor used to be cleared off and slowly but surely things have piled up. My jeans that used to be hung so beautifully now lay over the rack. I used to have sweatshirts and sweatpants nice and organized on this shelf. And this has become a chaotic mess. And up there too, definitely needs a little reorganization. So my game plan for today, I'm going to start by pulling everything out of this closet. I also want to do my side of this little TV stand here. This is actually like a drawer down here and then a little shelf in there. I don't touch 90% of the clothes that are in there. So a lot of that needs to get purged and cleaned out. And a lot of the stuff in this closet also needs to get purged and cleaned out. So my plan going into today, I want to absolutely pull everything out of my closet. I want to make two piles, maybe three piles, a pile of things that are going to go and get donated, a pile of things that are going to get rehung up and reorganized in this closet, and then maybe even a pile of things that like I don't want to get rid of but I don't need to keep in this closet here. Like a lot of my dresses, I can definitely hang up in that spare room that's in Harris and I's bathroom. I already have a lot of stuff hung up in there which that is another thing that I definitely need to tackle at some point before the end of the year. It is a mess in there. But a lot of my dresses, I don't touch that frequently. And they're all in here and they're taking up space. And the bar that is in this closet is warped from all the weight of all our stuff. Um, so maybe three piles we'll make. Um, and then before I go ahead and re-put everything in there, it needs a vacuum and a dust. I also have gone in a few last things to round up my wardrobe for this fall and winter season from Shein. I have basically everything I need now going into this fall and winter. Not that I needed anything more, but I had my eyes on a few things. I do have my eyes on two more things that are more so like necessities. I need a fresh pair of leggings. I have not gotten leggings since I was newly postpartum, so almost four years ago, but those I'm holding off on. And then I do want a new pair of slippers, like Ugg slippers, but those I'm holding off on as well. I'll probably order that stuff sometime in October. So aside from those two things that are on the back of my mind and want to be bought, I pretty much have everything I need going into this fall and winter season in terms of clothes. So before I go ahead and put everything back in, I need to dust and vacuum this closet. I want to share with you guys the last few pieces that I got in that are also going to get integrated into this closet. And then I'll go ahead and put everything back in nice and organized. And then I will go ahead and do this little um, 
TV stand. So right now, it's probably about to 10 o'clock. As you guys can see, I did just shower. I'll probably jump into it and then um, stop in a little bit and blow dry my hair so that my hair is done for the day. Um, I have my coffee over there. I think I'm just going to jump right into it and start by pulling everything out. to blow dry my hair i'm not even halfway done and this is how many pieces of clothing are on my bed i also have my little donny pile started most of the stuff on this half over here is stuff that's going to go into that room in my bathroom and a lot of this stuff is going to get hung back up i still need to do all my flannels i left hung up i still need to do the shelves that are in there and half of the floor so time to jump back into it getting to me my nose is getting so tickly and itchy but I have some stuff still hanging up whatever was already hung and I knew I was going to keep these are all like bodysuits and going out shirts and then my flannels and my cover-ups to be completely honest I think I'm just going to leave everything up there I don't have the energy in me to do all that and all that stuff is just like boxes and things bags whatnot not really important right now but the whole bottom of my closet and all my shelves are cleared. I do want to take out Harris's shoes so I could vacuum the whole entire bottom of the closet out to get all that dust out. So now I'm going to quickly do that, quickly vacuum all this out. Then I'm going to find somewhere for me to sit amongst this big mess to share with you guys the few things that I got in from Shein. Um, very, very few things. And then... After I show you guys that stuff, I'm going to start reorganizing, rehanging up, getting all this stuff put away. Once that is done, I will back up everything that I'm going to donate because I do still want to go through this. And I know there's a lot of stuff in there that can get donated. So once all the things that I'm keeping in here are back in here, we'll move on to that. We'll back up everything that's going and then I could be done. I think it's almost like 11 o'clock now. I don't have to leave to pick the boys up until 1.50. So I'm doing really good on time. I am going to have to stop at some point to eat lunch. But for now, time to vacuum and then I'll do that small haul. Okay, change the scenery. We're gonna do the little haul in my living room because my bedroom is just way too messy. Okay, here is my box of things from Shein. I promise it's not that much. It had to just come in a really big box because I did get a new winter coat. Oh my God, guys, I look crazy. I had to take my glasses off because they were slipping and sliding down my face. While I was just sweating, vacuuming and dusting out the closet, which I didn't film. Um, so I had to take my glasses off for a hot minute. I am so hot right now. But quickly jumping into the few things that I got in from Shein. The first thing being this light gray 
um little tank top it is so stretchy and so comfortable and it's the perfect like in between white and gray color it is a razorback and it is like i said so comfortable i've been wearing this a ton since i got it in last week and then this flannel is also new from Shein. i think this is from the daisy line it's like d-a-z-y dazzy daisy i love everything that i get from that line i have i think two other flannels from that line this one is like the perfect grandpa flannel it is soft on the outside like that thick flannelly material but the physical flannel isn't too thick i have two other ones that are a lot thicker that feel like this but the fabric is thicker like they're heavier this is still lightweight but has that like soft flannel touch to it and it's like a grayish blue brown cream black colorway and i have no flannels in this colorway and i thought it would be perfect for this fall season i love to get a new flannel every single fall because i live in oversized flannels in the fall and winter season i throw them on over everything and i think i got this let's see mm, it doesn't say the size i got this in a large so that it would be the perfect oversized cut i like when they hit like below my butt like this so this is the perfect oversized cut so these are the first two things that i got in the next thing that i got in is right on top i actually got in a new winter coat and i will insert some images or videos of me trying this stuff on i just have no energy to do that right now because i am dripping sweat but i did go ahead and get a new winter coat i don't have any light or cream winter coats i have a black sherpa one from aloe that is like an in-between winter coat it's not as heavy as this and then I have a black cropped puffer and a brown cropped puffer, but I don't have any non-cropped cream puffer coats. And this, when I saw this, I love how it has like the khaki on the top and then the cream Sherpa. This I got in a small, I think. It is meant to be oversized and the sizing, it fits perfectly how I want it to fit for it being a small. I didn't have to size up at all. And it has pockets on the side, drawstring on the bottom. This is from that Dazzy line, D-A-Z-Y. Um... And I think this is going to be like my perfect winter coat for this winter season. I'm super excited about this. I did try it on when I got it and Harris was in love with it. He's like, that is so cute. And like I said, I have no cream winter coats. So I'm excited to have this and wear this. Obviously not just yet. It's still very hot where I live. I probably won't get into this until November or December, but I was like planning ahead. I really wanted a new winter coat going into the season and I'm super excited for this. Moving on, like I said, this isn't a big haul. The box is big because of that big coat. I did get a, let's see, a sweater. This I've had my eye on. I actually saw this on Amazon. Um, nope, this is not what I'm thinking of. This, this is what I'm thinking of. I had my eye on this. I saw this on Amazon last season. Could not get my hands on it. It was selling out so fast because it was viral on TikTok. When I saw that she had had it, I had to jump on the opportunity to pick this up. This I'm going to wear for Thanksgiving. I already have it in my mind. This is my Thanksgiving outfit. This sweater is cut so flatteringly. It's very flattering the way it's cut. It has a very wide neck. Holding it up is not going to do it justice, so just pay attention to the try-on. It has a really pretty square yet sweetheart neckline. The sleeves are so long, which I absolutely love. It has a like higher hemline on the side, so it lays so flattering like the way it makes my waist look small i'm obsessed with it's a really nice quality thick sweater material i cannot wait to wear this for thanksgiving so you definitely have to keep an eye out for my thanksgiving vlogs this year you'll see this in action this i think next to the coat might be my favorite thing of this haul or this flannel i really can't tell I, every time i get something in from shein i get an order in from shein i feel like my expectations for what I'm getting, like I have high expectations going into it. And then when I see it and it comes out the way that I think it's going to come out, I get so excited. So this I'm super excited for. The thing that I took out before that I thought was a sweater, it's not the sweater. It's just a black um, short sleeve, kind of midi length in between a midi and a maxi dress. Super stretchy and comfy. Perfect for fall and winter to style with a flannel over, a sweater over, with boots, with sneakers. You can wear this even in the spring or the summer months. This is a very versatile dress. It has like a split hem all the way up the back, which is also super flattering. I just thought that I could wear this a million different ways and I didn't have anything like it in my wardrobe. So I picked this up. Two more things. I picked up a brown sweater. I don't have any brown sweaters. Okay, guys. 
over the last two years i have accumulated quite the sweater collection i never had like a good sweater collection or a collection of sweaters that i actually grabbed for i would get sweaters and then i would realize that they're not actually that flattering and then never wind up wearing them but over the last two years she and sweaters they are such good quality for the prices that they're listed at and i actually find myself gravitating and grabbing them all of my button-up oversized cardigans that i'm obsessed with wearing i wore them all last fall winter and i have new ones for this fall winter i lived in those and i actually grabbed for them and wore them quite frequently so i do have quite the sweater collection right now which is a big problem because sweaters are bulky and big but within my sweater collection i had no brown ones so i got this like mock neck oversized brown one i thought this would be cute tucked into jeans with a pair of uggs something super casual to throw on if i had to go into the boys school even for like hanging out with friends the holidays spending time with family this is an extremely versatile and beautiful colored brown sweater so since i had no brown sweaters in my collection i picked this up and then the next sweater that i picked up i'm so excited for this one i have no black and white striped sweaters that's how i justify getting all new sweaters it's like i don't have this i don't have this well i don't have this and i really wanted one like this i do have another sweater that has like the zip front and i actually really like how it looks and i wore it quite frequently last winter so i picked this cream and black sweater up it has like a really pretty collar like a flipped collar on it oh no i think i just pulled it on accident um it has like the zipper it's oversized i could tuck it into jeans i could wear it with leggings and uggs yoga pants and uggs um i can even wear it with boots and jeans and dress it up a little bit more i think that this will be perfect for this fall and winter season and i cannot wait to style this so all this stuff needs to get integrated into my closet aside from the winter coat i need to hang that up in this closet over here so now i'm going to clean up this mess bring everything upstairs and start the process of reorganizing and rehanging up everything that I am keeping. And then after that, I'll back up everything that I'm getting rid of and I can be done with this. slowly getting there those are my pajamas from last night this is stuff that i want to get into this drawer all of this is going in that back room this is stuff that i want to get into here this is my giveaway pile this is a pile that i still need to find room for that stuff is going in the spare room and then this is all garbage so i'm feeling really good i'm going to get all of this stuff put away and then i'll quickly do this and then i'll show you guys the finished product officially done my stomach is growling i am a mess from sweating so much i probably should have waited to shower and blow dry my hair after i was done doing this but i want to quickly run through with you guys how everything looks the final product of everything before i go ahead and eat some lunch and then i'll go ahead and close out today's video so i'll start with the closet and then i'll show you guys this little um cabinet slash drawer situation okay here is a quick overlook it just looks so much more roomy and organized like i said i did not do anything up there so let's not pay attention to that but we'll start we'll start with the door i had an extra command hook that i hung halfway down the door for all of my crop sweatshirts i don't really mind that they're kind of dragging on the floor um this door doesn't close like i said so it's okay that it's a little bulky because it basically stays propped open like this 
no matter what. So this top hook is all of my full length zip ups and then the bottom hook is all of my cropped zip ups and hoodies. Here are two hoodies that I wear pretty frequently in the winter. They're a little bit bulky to have up there. So I just hung them on a little hook that was already in my closet. And then I hung my hats on this hook here. And then moving on to the shelf, these are all crew necks. Um, my most worn ones are at the top. These are some least worn crewnecks, but they are crewnecks that I do pull out sometimes. And I left space above this because I have two crewnecks that are in the wash right now that will go on top of these two once they get washed. And then these are my most worn sweatpants for the fall and winter time. Least worn sweatpants, but sweatpants again that I still pull from. And then I have two piles of sweaters back there. They're not really pulled from very frequently, but I don't want to get rid of them because they are things that I can see myself wearing in the next year. If I don't touch any of these sweaters in the next year, when I go ahead and clean out my closet next year, they will all get tossed. I'm going to move quickly down to here. I am the type of person I do find myself throwing things onto the floor of my closet. Things that I don't want to put away or are too bulky to pull away or things that I pull very frequently. And for me, that is a lot of my sweaters that I do find myself wearing in the fall and winter time. So because I know I am that type of person, I have an extra bin from the room that is in my bathroom. I vacuumed it out and cleaned it out. And in here are all of my sweaters that I know I'm going to be wearing a lot of. These three on the top, these are my little sweater boleros that I throw on on top of outfits, like when I go out with my friend Casey. And then all of these are my most worn sweaters. So I have the half zip sweaters and ones that have, that are just like regular pullover sweaters. And then on this side, these are all of my oversized button-down cardigans so that I can quickly access them. And then when I'm done, if I do throw it onto this bin, they do have a home and I can frequently go through them and refold them and it just makes it easy. So that's a little ADHD mind hack. I know people with ADHD, which I do have. We do find ourselves throwing things into piles in our rooms. Um, it's like organized chaos, but... This is even more organized now that they have a home in this bin on the floor. And then back behind there are all of my little boots and sneakers that I don't really wear that frequently, but I'm not going to get rid of. So I have those in the back over there. And then I have extra hangers. These are all of my biker shorts and my rompers that I wear frequently. Here are all the jeans that I find myself wearing frequently. My Abercrombie ones, I have two. And then these two black ones. I think these are Abercrombie too. And then I have like a Walmart and a Shein. These are my jeans that I wear the most often. So I have those on little hooks. These are all of my flannels. I have my most worn flannels here. And then in the back there, I actually have some that aren't worn as frequently. And I also put all of my two piece pool cover ups back there because summer's ending and I won't find myself grabbing for them frequently, but I obviously still wanna keep them. So flannels, these are all of my new sweaters and long sleeve shirts that I got from Shein over the last few months. Um, cardigans that I find myself wearing. This is a sweater vest I wear frequently. More cardigans that I find myself wearing. These are the um, flannels or buttons up that I don't wear as frequently, but I don't wanna get rid of, so I put those there. And then here are my most pulled from dresses. Um, I took a lot of my dresses and I put them in that spare room that's in my bathroom because, again, I don't want to get rid of them. If I had an occasion to wear them, I would. I just don't pull them that frequently. So having them in my main closet, taking up room and space doesn't make any sense, but I did hang those in that back closet. So I think this is everything for this. And then this is all garbage. This is my donate pile. It's pretty big considering I purged so much last year. This is everything that I haven't touched in the last year that clearly I'm not pulling from and wearing. So all of this needs to get bagged up and donated. And then this here, I went through and organized. It was so packed to the brim with things that I never wear. So this definitely makes much more sense and is more organized. So I have some like sweatery sweatpants that I wear in the fall and winter. These are all my band tees and oversized tees that I pull from. And then I have two pairs of sweatshorts here. I have two more pairs of sweatshorts that are in the wash. So again, when they get washed, they'll have a home right on top of those. These are all of my leggings and yoga pants that I wear in the fall and winter time. I did used to have them hung on those little clips excuse me, in my closet, but because I pull from them so frequently, I found myself not putting them back on those hooks and then they would pile up on my floor. So now they have a home in here 
And then these are all like cropped tanks and crop tees that I do wear sometimes. Again, all these ones at the bottom, if I don't find myself pulling from in the next year, will get thrown out or donated. Um, these are all of my full length tank tops that I wear underneath things in the fall and winter. And then these are cropped um, like high I have no idea what happened. My camera just cut out and went black and then ended. But I was saying that those are just like cropped high neck tanks or t-shirts that I wear underneath sweaters, underneath flannels, and I find myself pulling from frequently. So they are on the top. So I'm officially done with this to-do of cleaning out my closet and cleaning out my clothes. Obviously, the last thing I need to do is bag all this up, but I'm starving. So I'm going to go ahead and eat some lunch first and then throw this stuff in a bag throw the stuff out and be done with this for today. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me deep clean and purge my closet. This is your sign that if you have not gone through your clothes in the last year to definitely go through your clothes. If you haven't touched it in the last year, if you don't see yourself pulling and grabbing for it or even see yourself wearing it in the next year, I highly recommend donating those clothes and getting rid of them and making space in your closet. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And with that being said, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.